Hey guys, how's it going? Kelsha here, Wizard Video, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to basically import a Minecraft world from your game Minecraft on PC to Autodesk Maya 2016. Now, this is just another Maya tutorial right here, but um, it's going to, you know, I'm also going to be playing Minecraft and, you know, you know, trying to import, you know, the, uh, um, you know, the Minecraft world into Maya. So. Basically, if you guys are, you know, wanting to learn learn this program, or if you, you know, if you just like, you know, tutorials, or just want to animate, you know, Minecraft stuff, you obviously need a scene, you know, to animate the character in, right? And you probably want a Minecraft, you know, uh, most likely like, you know, a Minecraft world to animate it in. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So uh, Maya 2016 uh, tutorial. So let's just do that. Let's make it creative, very simple, let's say super flat, and create world. And I have the shaders mod on, so um, I don't really think any frames are going to drop that, but I know it looks beautiful, doesn't it? Man, yeah, it looks really nice. But um, yeah, I, I always do this at the very beginning, I just make, you know, where I spawn and where I face, so I always, where I always know. So um, yeah, so let's just <coughs> kind of, you know build just something very simple, right? Like a house or something. Okay, so there you go. Um, now let's add some windows here, very simple. Again, just some windows, have a like right there. And then have it like this, and then we can't really have the uh, the floor. It's just grass, so we're just gonna quickly replace it all. Very simple creation, obviously, just for the tutorial guys. Um, yeah, so this can you can really do this with like any Minecraft map of yours, and um, yeah, so there you go. So that <coughs> is our very simple house creation. So what now we're gonna do is we're gonna exit and save and quote the title, and then what you also need. I forgot to mention this in the beginning, I might have like a title or whatever at the beginning of that, but um, basically what you need is a program called Mineways, and this is completely free, you don't need to pay anything for it, you just download it, and there you go. So, once you open it, it will look like this, and it'll have nothing in it, like there'll just be like white, you know, that's that's just a normal default way it's supposed to be, because when you go to File, Mineways, you're going to go to File, Open World, and you're going to go down to the Maya 2016 tutorial map. And uh, let's click on that. It will load all the way up, and you'll see a lot of like you know transparent checker boxes or whatever. And it's gonna take you know a while to load up. Obviously, and obviously this is lagging because it's full screen. But you're just gonna find you know just kind of follow like the little white dots wherever, and then you get to this. And this looks kind of weird. I mean, it's all pixelized, but this is like where my starting point is, and then this is obviously where you know my creation is. So right click and drag your creation and then it'll say like something here like okay three blocks or whatever. just say okay with that and then you just set file set train file go to your desktop or, or where, where, like wherever you have like your mind waste thing go to train base say um select open <coughs> and then go to export for rendering and you're going to say um you know minecraft um so select your desktop if you're not like in the mind scene, just select your desktop there right there and then this, you might just copy down the settings that I have here, because some of them like export cell materials, but just kind of, you know, be in this kind of, you know, setting range right here. No other 3D printing options unless you want to actually print out a 3D print, you know, 3D print the actual thing, which is actually pretty cool, but, you know, it is, this is just for rendering. So, press OK. Obviously, the, you know, the creature is very small, so it's going to go instantly, and it, it should be a bit... And here we go. Okay, so you might you might just get a message like this, but just press OK. Nothing bad happened. Don't worry. And then you're gonna select your whole scene right here. Left click, drag. Basically, just right. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay, so um, yep. So press R to go to the scale, and then left click and drag to scale up. And it it, it does you know it does look like the shape you know from that, but obviously we need the texturing on. So in the basic basic tutorial video, I showed you guys the, this the texture box. So you texture that up, and there you go. Now what you guys are probably saying, it's really blurry and really weird. Why why like why is the glass so pixely and like black and everything? Like it's, this is this is looking really weird. It's fine. Don't worry. Go to Windows. Go to Outliner, and then you see your grass block, dirt, all of the um, like like the mesh right and go to grass block you go to its file go click on a little arrow here next to color <coughs> go to quadratic and then you say off boom now it's hd 
the dirt. We don't really need the dirt. We don't really see that, so we don't, we, we don't really need that. Oak wood planks. Watch carefully, like to these textures right here, and quadratic off. Boom! It's like HD now. The glass, same thing, but it makes it clear, but not like you know actually see through. So what we're gonna do is gonna go to the file, which is the alpha, which is like the um, like the transparent PNG picture, and then there you go. Now you have the see through, you know, um, you know, obviously like a see, uh, you know, see through glass. So. It's pretty cool. Um, there you go. And then if you just wanted to render and test it out, you can go to the, uh, you know, just the kind of like the camera angle right about here. And we can also turn on the real, like real time, um, you know, sun and sky kind of thing. So it looks like it's kind of being lit, but it's, you know, it, it will obviously come through this right here. And then you can obviously change the lighting here. Just do whatever. And then you know, obviously once you're all done with that, you render it out and. You know, it's just, I mean, my processor is not the, the best, but you know, it's, it's, you know, it's AMD effect 6300 for any of the, if, you know, for any of you that um, are, you know, just wondering. Um, but I am like actually planning on, you know, uh, upgrading to like an Intel i7 soon to uh, increase rendering time. So not too bad. You can guys can definitely play with the lighting and the graphics of this, but you know, that's basically it with, uh, you know, the, um, the physical light, you know, and the sky and everything so uh yeah so there you guys go um then you can just import your character and animate them you know through here and this is your completely working everything the only problem is that these are not actually individual blocks so if you go to the face mode and you, it, i mean it will deform you know this is just the basic mesh of you know of like your actual world so you know shout out to the mindways program and everything like that thank you guys so much for watching this is how to you know this video showed you guys how to basically import your minecraft world into Maya successfully there you go and uh, yes thank you guys so much for watching really if you guys enjoyed please leave a like if you did and um you know please leave a like if this helped you out subscribe for more um you know video tutorials like this one um comment down below if you have any other questions or tutorials that i should do and you know in the future thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video peace